Yoga Club. We dive deep into the beautiful ocean with our yoga club this week as we meet new friends and find some very special treasure. But first, we have to just mention a few of the marvellous messages and ideas I've been receiving from you. First one from four brilliant brothers, Zerin, Shalom, Gideon and Malachi, who have just recently moved to Utah from Orlando. These four inspirational boys have been doing a week of service to help others be happy, which they tell me has made them so, so happy too. They'd love yoga adventures about being brothers, Rocket League, anything with cars, trucks, planes and diggers. They also love the crazy funny parts in super yogas. I'm with you there, boys. Thanks so much for the lovely message, Inara, and your little sister, Amara. Now, Inara really enjoys doing Zen Dens and Peace Outs, which is wonderful to hear. They did the taste test Zen Den using dried figs. That's a good choice. And thanks for suggesting more Harry Potter themed yoga too. You're not alone in wanting more Harry Potter either. Now, wonderful Dania is also keen. Goodness me, I'm going to have to dust off my wand and glasses. Now, another Zen Den fan, Desmond in Chicago, who likes pressing the squares and the smells, the sounds. It is fun, isn't it, Desmond? Thank you as well for your picture, Desmond. And good question, Samantha, who is four, and wrote in with her mum, Karen, about my big dog, Spence, which is indeed a shortened nickname for him, and his full name is Spencer. Good spot. And speaking of pets, hello to Hayden and Jenny who told me about their dog, Charlie, the cat, Zoe, and their fish called Zebrafish. Being such a keen pet owner, I bet you love the Pet Obsessed Yoga Club. Now, thanks to Etelin, who enjoyed the Spider-Man yoga, so wanted to know if there are any more superhero adventures on the way. Well, yes, Etelin, in the new year, we'll be launching a brand new series called Superhero Kids Yoga in Space. Each episode in the series focuses on a favourite superhero and we try out their powers using our yoga. There'll be Hulk, Iron Man, Black Widow, Wonder Woman, Batman and Captain Marvel. All very awesome. I'll keep you posted about it. Hello to Maggie who is five and wondered what I was for Halloween. I was a witch Maggie and she loves cat pose. Me too. Hello to Nia who loves yoga and to Hamish who is five and goes to Kern Primary in Danoon. Hamish well done for taking on writing your own yoga adventure of Peter Rabbit. I love the story and I think you've done a marvellous job. Wonderful to see your picture too. You're a total star. Big shout out to Mrs. Boyd's class in Abbeville, Alabama. Woo woo! <laughs> and dear Savannah, big kisses to you and thank you for sharing the picture of your girls enjoying their yoga while the baby talks to me. I love it. So glad it's been helping. Liberty has suggested a car yoga theme, nice, and she asked how I get the backgrounds behind me and blow the sparkles. These are great questions. Well, we film all the yoga in a big green room, which Conrad, who films and makes all the backgrounds for our yoga adventures, can then cut me out from. And then he puts me in these other worlds. It's very clever. And he can also make the special effects like the sparkles and the magic swooshes all happen at the right time. Times. So we have Conrad to thank for all of this. Aika has been loving all the new adventures and requests a Tangled episode. Mm, yes, I do love that story too. Now don't forget to sign up and start your yoga quest with me. It's free and you can get your maps at cosmickids.com forward slash yoga quest. Keep your messages coming at yoga club at cosmicleardkids.com and you keep sending them, I'll keep reading them. Now let's get down to bubbly business and take a dive down into the sea with our yoga club fun. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. Now it's easy. All you've got to do is copy the moves that I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms 
and crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. So, shall we find out what our story is about today? Let's look through the cosminoculars. Bringing your thumbs and fingers together, we have a look through. <gasps> wow! Goodness me, look at those colours and those shapes. It's so pretty. Can you see the picture? <gasps> yes, it's a dolphin. It's Popcorn the dolphin. Yay! What's Popcorn doing? <gasps> She's doing yoga. She's doing camel pose. This is so exciting. We're off to meet Popcorn the dolphin who lives in the sea. So we're going to the seaside. We put our legs out long and we pack a picnic. Bending our knees, taking our fingers to our toes, we open up our picnic basket. Ready? Oop. We take our arms out wide and we twist one way to get our sandwiches. Here we go. Let's wrap them up. Oop and pop them in. Ooh. We take our arms out wide again and we twist the other way and we get some fruit, some melons, banana and mango. Here we go. Melon, banana, mango. Melon, banana, mango. Lovely. We reach our arms up high, wiggle our fingers, wiggle our toes, bend our knees and close our picnic basket. Ooh. Then we come up to our knees and we stretch our arms out wide and we give everyone at home a great big hug goodbye. Oh, bye everyone! We get on our bicycles and cycle away, lying on our backs. We crisscross our fingers behind our heads and lift up our legs. Then we pedal our legs, going up a hill very, very slowly going down a hill really, really fast then going round a corner Ooh. and going round another corner Whee! and we arrive at the bus station Whee! we sit up and we put our legs out wide and we put our arms at the side like the wheels the driver of the bus is singing a funny song, which we know, called The Wheels on the Bus. Let's sing together. Ready? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. Now the wipers, reaching up tall, ready? The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all day long. Now the horn, pressing one finger on your nose and extending the other one out to the side. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 the horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all day long. Yay, we're here! And the sun is shining, so we stand up, we reach our arms up to the sun, and we say, hello sun, ready? Hello sun! Oh, the sand is so warm beneath our feet, we say hello to the sand. Bending all the way forwards, we say, hello sand. Now we step one leg all the way back behind us and we start our sand buggy with a beep, beep, yay. We take our other leg back and come onto our bellies and we wiggle like a little sea snake. Then we tuck our toes, lift our bottoms up to the sky and we woof like happy little dogs playing on the beach. Woof, 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 woof. We reach our tail up to the sky and wag it because we're still a very happy dog. And we step between our hands and we start our seats and buggies again with a 
beep, beep. We step forward again and we say hello to the sand. Hello, sand. And we reach up to the sun and what do we say? Hello, sun. Now on the beach are lots of crabs and they're playing football with a bottle. Hmm, let's go and join them. We sit on our bottoms, bending our knees, feet flat, hands behind our bottoms, and we lift up our hips. Now we're going to dig a digger that way. Ready? And kick a ball at the end. Digger, 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 digger. Oh, but it's not a ball, it's a bottle. Let's go that way and do it again. Digger, 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 digger. Oh, we catch the bottle. Sitting down. <gasps> We turn it upside down and we shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Out comes a treasure map and a message. Let's read it. Bending your knees, opening it up. Ooh. Look, a treasure map. And it says, the yoga treasure is yours to win. Be sure to listen to Popcorn the Dolphin. We must go and find her straight away. We look through our cosmonoculars again to see where she is. Crossing your legs, thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. There she is, playing in the waves. Let's go and join her. We stand up, grab a surfboard and start to run. Run, run, run into the waves. We throw our surfboard down onto the water and come onto our bellies. Then we start to swim out into the waves. Oh, there's a wave to bob over. So we bring our hands under our shoulders and go whoop and all the way down. Ooh. Let's surf on the next one, shall we? Yes, okay. Coming up onto your hands and your knees. Step one foot forward between your hands. Then cartwheel your arms round and we're surfing. We jump our feet the other way. Whoop. And we surf backwards. Nice, ready? Here comes popcorn to join us. Coming down onto your knees. Crisscross your fingers, come down onto your elbows. She dives in and out of the waves. She sits up on her tail and claps her fins together. She is the happiest dolphin we've ever met and we're going to be best friends forever. You found the treasure map for the yoga treasure. This is so good. Now we have to go together to find it. But there are going to be some challenges on the way. We're going to have to do three things. We're going to have to stay calm. We're going to have to keep breathing. And we're going to have to think positive. Can you do that? Yes, we can, Popcorn. We reach up high and we dive down into the waves. Spew! We swim, following Popcorn the dolphin. But, uh-oh, swimming around us are lots and lots of sharks. Ah! Crisscross your fingers behind your back and lift up your shark's fin. They're coming towards us. Do -do -do. Do, 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 do. Popcorn the dolphin knows exactly what to do and gets into position. Coming up onto your knees again, crisscross your fingers down onto your elbows. Remember to stay calm, keep breathing and think positive, happy thoughts. And she starts swimming around us and around us very fast. <laughs> She makes so many bubbles that the sharks get dizzy and they don't know where they are anymore. Coming down onto your belly, crisscross your fingers again, lift up your shark fin and... Oh, I don't know where I am, say the sharks. We sit up and we wipe our brow. Phew! Thank goodness for that. Popcorn knew what to do. We swim up to the surface of the waves where we take a look at our treasure map. Hands down, breathing in and lift up. Breathing out, lower down. 
Breathing in, breathing out. At the top, we look at our treasure map. Sitting back, bend your knees, feet flat, opening it up. <gasps> Look, there's a mermaid and she's sitting on a cross. X marks the spot. That must be where the treasure... Psst, psst. What? <gasps> and we see it. It's a huge boat and it's coming towards us. Sitting up tall, lift up one leg, lift up two legs, lift up one arm... Lift up no arms. Oh, and give me a wave. This boat is a very big boat with a mast lifting up one arm. And on that mast is a flag, a black flag, with a skull and crossbones. Which means one thing. Pirates! Ah! Standing on the boat, we see a pirate. He's only got one leg. And he's got craggly little hands like this. And he's got one eye. Arr! and he's holding a net, a large fishing net. He's looking to catch Popcorn the dolphin. No! Popcorn knows what to do. You just gotta stay calm. You gotta keep breathing and you gotta think positive. So we try. And sure enough, all of a sudden, from out of the water swims a whale. Huh. Lying on our backs, we bend our knees and lie all the way down with our arms by our sides, hands flat. We lift up our hips going bubble, 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 pop! And lower back down. Ooh. The whale lifts the pirate ship straight out of the water. Bubble, 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 pop! And lower down. Ooh. Carrying the pirates all the way away from us. Yay! We're safe again. We sit up and wipe our brow. Oh, that was close. Let's look at the map one last time. Now, how are we going to find these mermaids? Popcorn knows. We're going to have to go and find Tommy, the bedtime turtle. He knows where everyone lives in this ocean. So let's go find him. We go to the coral bed. Turning around, take your hands behind you, feet flat, and lift your hips up, making a bed shape like a coral bed. There's lots and lots of seaweed in the coral bed. Lying all the way down, lifting up your legs and your arms and waving it around like your wavy seaweed in the waves. There are fish darting in and out of the seaweed, pointing your toes all the way down. Come down onto your elbows and pop, pop, pop your chest to the sky, looking up to the ceiling all the way back behind you like a fish. Yay! The seaweed parts. Sitting up tall, we lie back again, lifting up our legs, lifting up our arms and part the seaweed. We rock all the way up. Whoop! Wow! And we see that we are here with Tommy the Bedtime Turtle. Yay! Bending your knees, hands in front of you. Take your hands down in between your legs. Then shuffle your hands underneath your feet, making two little flippers, like turtle flippers. Hey there! What can I do for you? I hope I can help you somehow. We show Tommy the map and he knows exactly what to do. You need to go and find the tunnel of dogfish. But be very careful because they're not very nice when they're awake. So wait until they've gone to sleep. And Norris, the baby seahorse, if he's there, he'll show you what to do. Good luck. Right, it's time to go. We need to find this tunnel of dogfish. We swim again on our tummies. Coming flat, we swim down deep where all the fish get a little bit funny and light up. Ooh. And there we see it, the tunnel of dogfish. Tuck your toes, hands beneath your shoulders, lift all the way up, coming into your dog pose. And the dogfish are asleep. <sighs> Coming down to your knees, Popcorn knows 
She's not going to fit under there. If I swim under there, I'm going to wake them all up with my tail. So you're going to have to go by yourself. But do you remember those three things I told you? Yeah? Yes, we do, Popcorn. Stay calm, keep breathing, and think positive. We can do it, everyone, can't we? And here comes Norris, the baby seahorse. Stepping forward onto one knee, lift your arms above your head. Oh, hello. I'm going to take you through, but you need to wiggle like a little snake all the way through the tunnel so you don't wake them up. We can do it, Norris. We get into position on our bellies again. Taking our hands underneath our shoulders, we wiggle through the tunnel. Wiggle, wiggle. <gasps> Stay calm. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <gasps> Keep breathing. <sighs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <gasps> Think positive. And we get through to the other side. <clears throat> Yay, we did it. Norris the baby seahorse gives us a little celebratory neigh. Stepping forward with your other foot, lift your arms and you did it! Well done, everyone! Sitting before us is a mermaid. The mermaid from the treasure map. Sitting with your bottom to the side, swish your tail around to one side and place one hand on your fishy tail and the other hand behind you. Look over your shoulder. Look back at us. And she says, Ooh la la! Then she swishes her tail around to the other side. Whoosh! Putting an hand on her tail and behind her, and she says it again. Ooh la la! Then we show her the map. Sitting up tall, bend your knees, open it up. Oh, ah oui, she says. Then she points her tail all the way forward, sticking it out at the ends. She reaches behind her, bends her elbows down, lifts her tail up and counts to three in French. Un, deux, trois. Then she opens up her arms and she reaches up to the sky as she says, Et voila! All of a sudden, from every direction, start spinning the most beautiful gold stars, billions and trillions of them. We stand up and see them whirling and swirling around us. They're covering us with their magic. This is the yoga treasure. We close our eyes as we feel what the yoga treasure does. It fills us with love. Cross your fingers, come down to your elbows and forwards and backwards like a dolphin. <laughs> you did it! You found the yoga treasure! Now we gotta go! Come on! We lie back onto Popcorn's back and we place our hands one on top of the other and we give her a little kiss on the head. We're so pleased we found the yoga treasure but oh no! We've just realised. We missed the bus. We missed the bus home. Oh no, how are we going to get home? This is awful. <laughs> Remember, you got to do those three things. You got to stay calm. You got to keep breathing. And you got to think positive. You can do it. So we try. We sit up. We cross our legs. We bring our hands to our hearts. And we close our eyes. We're calm, we breathe, and we think about the best possible thing. And when we open our eyes, we're sat on a magic carpet. <laughs> Take your legs out wide, your arms up high. It swooshes around. Whoosh! Wow, it's carrying us home. We wave down to the ocean, waving at popcorn and all of our friends. Oh, and we wish the other way. Whee! We're 
we're so pleased we're now on our way home that we lie ourselves back down on our magic carpet with our arms down by our sides and we let the carpet take us all the way home. As we lay here, we think of the amazing thing that we've done today in releasing the yoga treasure. From that love, we can find true happiness. That's what's so amazing about it. And we learned some special things today that will help our life be a lot, lot easier. Those three, three good words of advice that Popcorn gave us. Staying calm, that we keep breathing, and we think positive, happy thoughts. We can do it. We breathe slowly, enjoying our rest. And then it's time for us to slowly come back. So we wiggle our fingers and wiggle our toes. We bring one knee in, give it a kiss. Two knees in, give it a kiss. And we roll onto our side and all the way up to sitting with our legs crossed, just like we started. We bring our hands together at our hearts and we finish with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. That was wonderful. I hope you can remember those three special things and they help you lots and lots and come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. Today we go deep sea core diving to meet a jellyfish and a starfish. Now these creatures do everything from their middle, their core, which we can learn from, so we can stand up tall and be strong in everything we do. Let's begin by sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed. Now bring one of your hands to your belly button and your other hand to the base of your spine and zip yourself up in a wetsuit. Now give a silent cheer to the sky. And the other way, bring your other finger to your tummy and your other finger to the base of your spine and zip up. And give a silent cheer to the sky. Fantastic. Now let's get our scuba tank in place. We reach up with one hand and we pop it down on our backs. Hmm, we can't quite reach, so we take our other arm over the top and press our elbow down a little bit so that we can check that the tank is secure. There it is. We release our arms. Now we need to check that it's on. So we reach our other arm up and we pop that down into our back. And then we take our other arm over the top to press our elbow down a little bit further. Yep, there we go. Oxygen tap on. Fantastic. Now lowering our arms. To get to the deep sea, we need to take a boat. So let's come into boat pose. Turn yourself to the side and get yourself nice and strong and stable by using your hands behind you to hold yourself up. Now lift up one foot, lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up no hands. Wow, we're already using our cores as we go in our boat, yay! Now, to get into the water when we're diving, we have to rock and roll off the side, backwards. Let's practise that a couple of times. Sitting up nice and tall, hug your knees and tuck your chin in like you're squashing a tomato under your chin. Now we're going to rock all the way back and all the way back to sit. Ready? One, two, three. Whoop. Nice, let's do that again. One, 
two, three. Nice. Now this time, I wonder if you can rock all the way up to stand by kicking your legs as you rock forwards. Let's try, ready? Tuck your chin in. One, two, three. Whoop. Kick your legs and up. <gasps> Yay, we did it. Coming to stand, everyone. We reach our arms all the way up and we slowly start to sink all the way down, bending our knees. We sit down on our bottoms and cross our legs. Wow, we've made it all the way down to the bottom of the seabed. Now let's check our scuba breaths. We're going to breathe and see if you can hear your breath like a whisper at the back of your throat, like this. And again. Wow, amazing scuba breaths, everyone. Now we're here, let's have a look around. Let's look through our sea goggles, joining your thumbs and fingers together. Have a look through. Ooh. <gasps> there, look, we can see a jellyfish. Coming up to stand, everyone. Take your feet nice and wide and point your toes out to the side. Now bend your knees. Bring your hands up and join your fingers above your head. As the jellyfish moves up, it opens its head and spreads its tentacles wide. Then it floats and closes back down, bending our knees again. It presses up, opens out, stretching its tentacles and then lowers back down as it closes everything down to float. We watch it bob through the seaweed, coming into seaweed pose. Lying on our backs, we lift our legs up to the sky and our arms up to the sky. Now, see if you can very slowly begin to move your arms and your legs like your seaweed flowing in the water. Almost like it's slow motion. Amazing. We have to be very slow and controlled to do this. Now, Cross your shins and come back up to sit by rocking all the way up. Sitting in the middle. I think it's time to look through our sea goggles again, but this time we're gonna look through them the upside down way. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, take these three fingers and put them under your chin, just like that, yes. Now bring your other fingers up a bit higher and bring your pinky finger, your little finger, up to where your cheek joins your jaw. Now lift up your elbows and stretch those holes of your sea goggles over your eyes. Oh, now we're looking through them upside down. That's really cool. Now let's have a look what's on the seabed. Folding all the way forwards, we have a look. Wow, we can see a starfish sitting up everyone. This is super cool, but it's seen us and it's scrunched itself up. Hug your knees in nice and tight, everyone, and tuck your chin in, seeing if you can balance your toes off the ground. Shh, if we're very quiet, it might open up again. Let's see. Look, there it goes. Slowly start to open up. Your points like you're a starfish. Your arms and legs go as wide and as straight as they can be. Boy, oh boy, you've got to have a strong core to do this pose, don't you? See if you can hold it a bit longer. Oh no, it's seen us again and scrunched itself up. Huddle yourself all the way back in, everyone. Oh, I think we'd better leave this starfish in peace. Let's swim up. Coming onto your knees, everyone. Bring your hands in between your knees. As you breathe in, use your scuba breaths and lift up. Ready? And lower down. One more time. And lower down. We sit back in our boat, allowing ourselves to float along the water thinking about those incredible creatures, how they use their core. They're so strong. 
and it helps us feel strong and powerful, ready to stand tall. Have a brilliant day. Super Yoga! Kids 
Yoga Pose Universe. Whale pose. Coming down to lie on our backs. Feet flat, knees bent, lying all the way down with our arms down by our side. Hands flat too. Now we lift up our hips as we say bubble, bubble, bubble. And at the top we go pop. Yay! And lower all the way back down. Shall we try it again? Here we go. Lifting our hips. Bubble, 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 bubble. Yay! Well done, everyone. Now, whales are some of the biggest mammals in the world. And I don't know if you can see, but there's one right over there. If we wait a little bit, it might come a bit closer and we'll see how big it is. Whale pose is very good for calming our minds and for very strong, lovely backs and legs. Let's lower all the way back down again, nice and slowly. <gasps> Can you see it? It's a whopper! Whale pose. Peace out. Starfish. Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. First, find yourself a space on the floor to lie down. Big enough so you can have your legs and arms stretched out in a star shape. To start off, just be in a relaxed star shape. Get settled and do any last fidgets you need to do to feel happy and comfortable here. Take a couple of nice deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. And with this next breath out, let your eyes gently close. Well done. Now you're settled. You're ready to be a starfish. Can you imagine a starfish? With five points coming out from its centre. Choose what colour you'd like it to be. Starfish can be all sorts of colours so make it the colour you'd like. You can make it patterned too if you like. Spotty or stripy. Maybe even sparkly with glitter. Good job. What a great starfish you have in your mind. Now see if you can make your body just like the starfish in your imagination. Make the shape with your body. Your legs are two of the points. Your arms are the other two. And your neck and head are the fifth point. Now fill yourself with the colour you chose. And if you added a pattern, put that on too. That's it. Starfish are amazing creatures. Everything happens in the middle of their body. Their mouth is in the middle, their tummy is in the middle, and they breathe from the middle as well. Just like a starfish, we can breathe from our middles too when we want to. Let's try starfish breathing and see if we can make our breath go from our middle and reach right to the end of our star points. Start by breathing out all the air inside you, so you're completely empty. Now start to breathe in. And notice as your middle starts to fill, 
your breath also spreads and starts to stretch the five points of your star right out. Your arms and legs stretching out, your head and neck stretching up. And now breathe out, relaxing your body as the breath leaves and your tummy goes down. Try it again, breathing in deeply and slowly, the breath stretching the five points of your star right to your fingers, toes and up to the top of your head and relax, letting it all go. Your star points spread but nice and floppy. One more big starfish breath from your middle. Breathe in, filling all the way up, stretching to the ends of your star shape. Stretch, stretch, stretch and relax, letting it all go. Well done. You've done some great starfish breathing and your body has had a good stretch too. Enjoy letting your breath be normal again and notice the restful calm feeling that has come from this lovely stretching and breathing. It's quite nice being a starfish, isn't it? Now we come back. Hear the sounds around you. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and toes and roll your wrists and ankles around in a circle. That's it. Roll over onto your side and push yourself up to sit. Open your eyes and take a moment to be pleased with yourself for doing something good for yourself, for your body and mind. I hope to see you soon. This is Jamie, saying peace out. <laughs>